The prayer is a connection between the servant and Allah the Almighty. That's why the servant should enjoy his prayer. Should not take it as some sort of physical exercise. Not jumping jacks, not some rituals. Rather, it is a beautiful act of worship. Since Allah the Almighty says, I have divided the prayer between me and my servant. And that word, the prayer refers to reciting Surah Al-Fatiha in Salah. And how is that? So whenever the servant recites, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of all that exists. Allah answers him back saying, my servant praised me. And whenever the servant recites, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the beneficent, the most merciful, Allah answers him saying, my servant exalted me. And whenever the servant recites, Maliki Yawmiddin, Allah says, my servant glorified me. Then whenever you recite, it is you and only you whom we worship and it is only you whom we seek his help. Allah says, that's between me and my servant and my servant should get what he's asking for. Then you're ready to ask, you're ready to pray. What could be better and superior to guidance? The best request is to ask Allah for guidance. So you say, Guide us to the straight path. The path of those whom you bestowed your favor upon them. Not the path of those who gained your wrath nor those, nor of those who went astray. There is a dialogue between the person who's praying and Allah the Almighty. The person, the servant of Allah who's praying should enjoy his prayer and keep in mind that Allah is conversing.